What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about the opening of Scream 6 and where the movie could potentially take us during this opening. I've seen some people start to speculate on it. I've also had some of you DM me asking about certain theories you've seen online about the opening. I've seen some posts about what people think the opening will be over on Reddit. I've seen people trying to also decipher what Viewer Anon is putting out there. So my premise for this opening is going to be related to the character that is played by Devin Dakota, who I don't think her name has been revealed just yet. But going off of the fact that we know very little about that character, let's say that there's a strong chance that she is the opening. And what could happen is I would say that Devin potentially is the girlfriend of either Chad or Mindy. I will put that to I will apply that to Chad for the sake of this video. And what happens is she maybe is is walking off somewhere from a party or a gathering that's going on in the opening of the movie. Maybe it's even happening at the Blackmore on, on the Blackmore campus somewhere or somewhere not too far off from the Blackmore campus. She's left the party. She starts wandering the streets and she gets a phone call from Ghostface. And then she's in a crowded area. She's being taunted by the killer. Someone who's playing with her that she at first thinks is one of her friends just playing around. But then she ultimately finds out that they are very serious because it leads to this very intense chase sequence between Devin Nicola's character and Ghostface chasing her in what I would say I'll just apply to an alleyway a dark empty alleyway no one can hear her screams no one is if they do hear her screams they're just shrugging it off because it's such a crowded city the sidewalks are filled with people it's Halloween night nobody's taking it any nobody's minding it nobody's taking it seriously at all it can be very reminiscent of Helen Shivers death in I know what you did last summer you have Ghostface chasing someone through alleys back alleys all all throughout wherever she is ultimately getting to the point where she ends up dying by the blade gets stabbed has her throat slit however you want to do it get it done chad or mindy has lost their lost their girlfriend as the opening kill sequence and then we're not done i've seen some of you point out how you have noticed that tony revelori's character appears to be hanging around potentially in the opening sequence i've also seen viewer non make mention of some other stuff about this sequence that some people have highlighted so let's say tony revelori is also in the opening sequence from this from this image if this is him walking away with a backpack in the in the teaser what if this is a witness to a to a ghost face killing spree or to a ghost face opening kill Ghostface takes note of this witness and the witness tries to get out of there. Now, the witness is trying to remain calm by initially walking away very calmly so they don't cause a cause a ruckus with everyone else around them. And they also just want to blend in and kind of hope that the person that's following them because they just saw Ghostface kill Devin's character. They're hoping this person leaves them alone. But Ghostface is just right behind him, following him intensely with his backpack on. Now, also, some people did point out that the backpack that whoever this person is in in the teaser is carrying that people believe is Tony has the Blackmore College logo on it. So this is clearly a Blackmore student in that image that I'm starting to see people decipher. So if this is Tony and again, I'm applying to the fact that this if to, if this is Tony, this is a witness, someone who just saw Ghostface kill Devin and they try to walk it off. But they're not going to be able to just walk this off because the killer saw them looking in, looking in that direction it's a very awkward exchange you could have go on where tony sees devin get stabbed to death and then he tries to simply walk away you've never had an opening sequence where you've had a witness to the kill then end up being someone who becomes another victim as well because of the fact that they are a witness and they can go blab if they get far enough so ghostface starts start to start stalking tony while he's trying to walk away in the crowd that leads to yet another chase where he's ultimately running away to his apartment or wherever he decides to reside and he gets into the apartment and somebody is already already waiting there to kill him because again he was a witness to the initial opening kill which was Devin Nicola's character, who is Chad or Mindy's girlfriend. That is what I would say could potentially happen in the opening where they kind of fake you out a bit, make you think that there's only going to be that one traditional kill or a pairing of kills. But usually the pair is seen together during the chase sequence. But this time they shake it up a bit. They don't just have one they let you think it's gonna be one, but then the take the opening take is extended into two people. 
The second person ends up being a witness to what just happened to the initial kill. And they get stalked because of the fact that they need to be eliminated now because they're a witness. And if that's Tony's character, I think that would be a very unique and clever opening. Especially, again, you factor in all these different things like having Ghostface stalk this person in an alleyway. Having this person who was the witness to the alleyway kill try to walk it off as if they didn't see anything because they know that this person is about to start following them the minute they start walking away. They try to keep it calm. They don't want to run. They're trying to blend in with all the other costumed individuals that are on the sidewalk. But Ghostface is right there behind them. They see them. They have their eyes on them. And they're going to take them out because of the fact that they just saw them kill Devin Dakota's character. Then this ultimately leads to the person who was the witness thinking that they can just walk it away running back to their apartment complex and just hoping that nobody followed them by the time they get in there somehow some way movie magic ghost face is already inside and the and the witness to the initial kill ends up being killed because of the fact that they knew too much you can you can chalk it all up to that i think that would be a very fun and different opening sequence to have play out where you have somebody who's initially killed but then they shake it up a bit by letting you think that oh, we're going to get the title card. And then you don't get the title card. And then it shifts over to a witness to that kill. And now the witness is in trouble because you can't have any witnesses. No witnesses allowed because Ghostface doesn't do that. <laughs> that is how I can see the opening potentially playing out. That's one idea. I know there's a plethora of different ways it could play out. Also, I know that some of you have probably some better ideas. So if you have a different idea of how the opening could play out, let me know why and how down in the comment section below. Um, I'm really just open to hearing what you guys think could happen in the opening. I want to know who you think is in the opening. Do you think that the opening is going to be something very reminiscent of Scream? 1996 screen 5 or screen 2 screen 3 screen 4 what do you think is going to go down in scream 6's opening do you think it's going to be one of the most unique ones we've had since screen 2 do you think it's going to be just overly reminiscent of stuff you've already seen before what do you think will go down in that opening and who do you think will be the opening i've also seen some people say that they think samara weaving is going to be the opening there's a chance that she could be the opening but for the sake of this video i'm applying it to another person we know nothing about really which is the character that Devin Nicole is going to be playing, which again, I don't even think we have her name yet. So you guys can let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, already, of course, go ahead and uh, I, I rarely say this, but give the video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification at never miss a video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.